Okay, so today we are going to um, put a backsplash here using just the skim code. So we're going to first put the skim code. Now let's fill this container with the skim code. And then we're going to add a water. Yeah, so the ratio of this is actually, you know, just enough for the skim code to be like a mud. If it's not thick enough, you can add powder and it will be no problem with that. You will have no problem with it. And once you scoop it, it will not fall off like a yogurt. Yeah, this is like a yogurt. This will be fine. Okay, now let's apply the skin code to the wall. This is the first coating, so yeah. There are no uh, and you can apply whatever you however you want it. So you will discover your technique if you just try. Yeah, experience will teach you better. So just do it. Okay. So let us uh, measure the height of the backsplash. So it's going to be 20 inches. So let's mark the size of the backsplash, the width and the height. And that is where we're going to put the a quarter of an inch thick skim coat. So it's going to be maybe one centimeter thick uh, tile or let's say a brick. So yeah. So the mixture for uh, adding a volume to the backsplash or to any uh, folks bricks is a little thicker yeah it's uh, it's not uh, soft but a little thicker so you better add more powder and then uh, just put the skim coat as thick as you want it to be now Let's try to make it smoother, as level as we can, because this area will be exposed to oil and other uh, stain from the kitchen, because this is where they, were, they will be preparing their food. Maybe a little stove here. So yeah, let's make it as um, smooth as we can so that it will be easier to clean. So leave it for uh, at least 24 hours. And then we can now um, cut the grout or make the tile. And we're going to uh, make the tile three inches. The height is three inches for the tile. Just use any sharp object, knife, whatever, palette knife. And the width is eight inches. Yeah. So it's three by eight inches tile.
Okay, so let's make the cut deeper. Yeah, using your knife, just you know push because it's not yet so that hard. Okay, so this is where we are going to make the grout deeper and wider. So yeah, I think this will be enough, just uh, wider than the, the cut itself. So you can uh, make each tile with a wider crowd. And here it is. As you can see, it is more uh, the, the, the shape or the tile is more visible. Now, uh, you can or we can make this smoother by sanding it. So it's up to you. You can sand it and make it smoother than uh, whatever you want, however you want it to be. So yeah, just sand it or you can actually repair it so it's easier it's easy to, to to add volume and then to make to let it try and then sand it until you are satisfied with the smoothness of the tile next would be to paint it with uh, acrylic or any paint that you want if you want the, the, the tiles to be really hard, you can use the um, epoxy paint. But if it's just for, you know, personal use or a temporary, you know, backsplash, you can paint it with a multiple layer of uh, acrylic. And uh, yeah. Because the, the the skim coat is hard enough, as long as it, you will not puncture it with a hard object, it will not you know be easily destroyed. So let me fix this part here, because the the one who made this does not care about how smooth it is. So I'm going to use the cement and sand to at least uh, smoothen that. Um, to an even part. So let's uh, apply some uh, salmon. Okay, and uh, after 24 hours, I'm going to remove this. At least it's uh, looking better than before. Let's clean this up with uh, some shelves. And from this to this, how about that? So it's uh, better than before. And it's cheaper. It's just uh, 500 pesos. It's just $10. If you like this, please subscribe for more.